Hey, Popeye, are the latest. Greetings, greetings, viewers and subscribers. Well, in our journey today, we are still on the journey we were on yesterday. We are heading from Hanover towards Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. Continue to sit back, continue to relax, and continue to enjoy this journey with me. Now, let me start with the good news. Sandals South Coast in Westmoreland. They will be hosting a job fair next week Wednesday, May 18th, 2022. This will be starting at 8 o'clock in the morning until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. They are seeking persons to work as cook, dining room servers, dining room supervisor, housekeeping supervisor, photographer, stove technician, room attendants, sous chef, laundry attendants, and restaurant manager. Ensure that you write your application letter, have your resume, your TRN, your NIS, and a valid ID, as also any certifications that you have, whether from the Heart Trust NTA or anywhere else. Also, try and reach there early because they are saying that the first 100 persons will be interviewed. Or you can email them at recruits, SWH, at GRP dot sandals dot com despite all the mayhem that's taking place once you are qualified and you are willing to work there are plenty jobs available now we are learning that a serving politician in western jamaica is to be charged for a criminal offense by the police that serving politician will be charged either today or tomorrow we are watching this one and if and when that person is charged we will be giving you the full details stand by for it now we carried a story last week wednesday may 4th 2022 we told you that that man that you are seeing on your screen his name is mr delroy williams he was popularly known as body body he was 64 years old and he lived at well we had said sheffield last week but we were corrected and we are told that he lived at Waterworks in the parish of Westmoreland. Body, he was a taxi driver for many, many years in Negril in the parish of Westmoreland. On Monday, May 2, 2022, in the early evening, about some minutes to 7 o'clock, Body, he was sitting on a chair and he was talking to some vendors. These vendors, they were selling jerk chicken and other stuffs right in the vicinity of Bourbon Beach in Negril in the parish of Westmoreland. We are told that two cars were coming up the beach road. Now my Manly Boulevard, yeah man, the same place. They were coming up the beach road and they were racing. They were coming at a very fast rate of speed. We are told that a Toyota Axio being driven by a young man age 21 years old. It was at the back. The driver for the car that was traveling in front was holding out the guy that was driving the Toyota Axio. So he was unable to pass him on the right. What this guy did was he tried to overtake the car on the left. In layman's term, he tried to undertake the car that was in front. This young, careless and reckless driver, he ended up losing control of the car. As a result, the Toyota Axio he was driving, it hit down body and damage the vendor's carts. Both of Buddy's legs were chopped off due to the accident. Now, since last week Monday, Buddy, he has been in hospital and based on his condition, it was only a matter of time. Buddy, he succumbed to his injuries last night. Thursday, May 12th, 2022. Condolences to the family and friends of Mr. Delroy Williams popularly known as body and let's hope that this young driver is made to face the full consequence of the law if and when he's charged we will give you his name stand by for it now in this next story we are learning that the westmoreland police they have arrested and charged a young man his name is kirk wilson he's popularly known as wayne and he's 21 years old He's living at Hudson Street in Savannah Lamar in the parish of Westmoreland. Our information is that yesterday, Thursday, May 12th, 2022, in the afternoon, the Westmoreland police, 
They were on an operation at 135 Darling Street, popularly known as Charlene. It is said that the police, they went to a yard where several persons were seen. As the police entered the yard, Kirk Wilson, popularly known as Wayne, who was in the group, the police are alleging that he was seen with a black and white strap bag in his hand. It is said that he placed this bag on the ground and ran off. The police, they are claiming that they chased and caught up with him. The bag that he placed on the ground, it was retrieved and in the bag, it is alleged that a black and green Taurus 9mm pistol with the serial number intact, affixed with a magazine containing 11 9mm rounds, was found. As a result, Kirk Wilson, popularly known as Wayne, he was arrested and charged by the police. He was charged for illegal possession of firearm and illegal possession of ammunition. So, he will be going to the courts shortly to face his judgment. Congratulations to the Westmoreland police for this recovery. Job well done. Now, in this next story, we told you yesterday that we were going to be updating this story. So, here goes. Now, yesterday, before we posted the video, read the death of Mr. Kenroy Parkinson. We got this WhatsApp message. We didn't read it yesterday because we wanted to do some checks. But we are going to be reading it now. It says, Good morning, PNL. I know that by now you must hear about the killing of Kenroy this morning. As we said earlier, we got this message yesterday. So it says, I know that by now you must hear about the killing of Kenroy this morning. Him have a son named, no, I have blacked out the name of the son. Him have a son named X who is in the weed business. Him always taking people weed and send it away. Then him say the deal boss. It looked like at the son the hoodlums went for but he wasn't there. Some people are also saying maybe a true land why them kill him because him and a lot of people in argument over land. Check it out. I know you will get more information. <laughs> now, we are also getting reports that one of Kenroy's uncle, he's popularly known as Bully, it is said that he has one arm. He was shot and killed at his home this morning. <laughs> we are awaiting the details and we'll be giving you that story in a subsequent video. Yeah man, it is confirmed one of Kenroy's uncle was shot and killed this morning. So is it possible? that Kenroy was killed because of some land argument? Is that possible? Or is it possible that he was killed because of his son? <laughs> now, here is how Kenroy met his demise. Like we said, the incident took place at Retirement District in the Little London Police area in the parish of Westmoreland. So we are learning that one of Kenroy's son, now this son, he is a teenager. He got up early yesterday morning, Thursday, May 12th, 2022, almost 6 o'clock. It is said that this youngster, he went outside to urinate. While he was outside urinating, he was surprised by two hoodlums. Both hoodlums, they were armed with handguns. They proceeded to hold onto this youngster and instructed him to go inside of the house. They told him, to go into his father Kenroy's room. At this time, Kenroy was on his bed, fast asleep. The hoodlums, they instructed the youngster to lie face down in the room. The youngster, he lay down on the floor. Bam, 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 bam. Kenroy was hit. However, he managed to get up and run off, but he didn't get too far. He collapsed and fell beside his 14-year-old son who was lying on the floor. And that was it. One of the hoodlums, he then picked up a black 55-inch TV and both of them ran outside of the house. It is said that they escaped in a white Toyota Axio motor car which was waiting in the yard. Now, Kenroy, he received gunshot wounds to his head and his back. It is suspected that Kenroy, he died on the spot. The police were called and we are told that 
when they processed the crime scene. Seven 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. <coughs> now, this youngster, Kenroy's 14-year-old son, he's going to be needing some serious counselling. I am surely hoping he gets it. Sad indeed. The mayhem. The mayhem. <coughs> so let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Oh no, no, tired. For me, I ask you no. Or I remind you no. If you no hit pan the like button. Oh no, no, tired. Well, let me tell you something. <laughs> I am not tired of reminding you. <laughs> no, me not tired because every day, every single day, I'm gonna be reminding you. Because I know where it's going on. Sometimes even me. <laughs> Even me, I listen back to the video and I am so caught into the stories that I would forget to hit on the like button too. So I'm not blame you. So, if you have not yet done so, remember to do it. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, we are now on our way to 100,000 subscribers. Ensure that you are telling a friend to tell a friend. And once again, thank you for the support. Thank you no for sharing the videos. Thank you no for telling a friend to tell a friend. When we started this thing, you know, a little bit over a year ago. Or, or me, or me I say, yeah, a little bit over a year ago. When we started this thing, we get all kind of, you know what? That's for another video. Because I had promised a video in the past. A lot of persons want to get a foothold in YouTube. A lot of persons want to start a YouTube channel. Based on my experience on YouTube, I am putting together a video. There is a lot to be learned. I have learned so much over the period I've been here. So I'm going to impart some of that knowledge to you. By now, you should know how we do things already. We don't just carry the news. We do our digging. Some people, they don't like when we carry the back stories. But that's how it goes. So in the final story for today, we did some digging and we are going to be sharing what we have learned with you. We carried a story yesterday and we told you that we would be updating it. The man you are seeing on your screen, his name is Shamari. Well, it's either Shamari or Shamario. Lindo. But he was popularly known as Mari. He was 24 years old and he lived at Churro in the Burn Savannah area in the parish of Westmoreland. Now, in 2020, Mari, he was a security guard. Listen to me now. Listen to me closely. In 2020, Mari, he was a security guard. He used to work with a security company. And he was based at a popular hotel in Negril in 2020. Mari, he was arrested and charged by CTAC. I'm going to let you listen to DCP Fitzbailey. He's going to tell you what Mari was charged for. Here goes. On May 6, 2020, a joint operation was conducted comprising officers from CTOC, Specialized Operation, the Caribbean Search Center, and the K-9 Division. When the operation was completed, seven suspects were taken in custody. Of the seven persons arrested, four were subsequently charged with being a part of a criminal organization. Three persons are awaiting charges, two of which remain in custody, and one is at large. The persons arrested are Kevin Christopher Wilson, O.C. Bomson, 38 years old, waiter of Kings Valley, Kenesha Shanice Moody, 19 years old. Miss Moody is a girlfriend of the Kings Valley gang leader, Derval Williams O.C. Lukey, and she was arrested at Lukey's residence. The other person who was held and subsequently charged was Arville Arlando Jones, O.C. Bigger, 37 years old of Little London. Joel 
ranking O.C. Anderson, 32 years old, of Pleasant Park, and Shamari Lindo, 23 years old, of True Road District, Westmoreland. The investigation continues in the matter. It is to be noted that additional anti-gang charges will be preferred against these persons at a later date. So, you heard what DCP Fitz Bailey said. Mari and four others, they were charged with the anti-gang act. We are told that Mari, he spent over 18 months in police custody. He was released in December 2021. We are still trying to ascertain whether or not the case was concluded, but we haven't yet confirmed it. We are told that recently, Mari, he was given back his job at the security company and he had gone back to work. A lot of his co-workers and staff at the hotel, they were happy to see him return. But someone wanted Mari out and we don't know why. So yesterday morning, Thursday, May 12th, about 9 o'clock, Mari, he was standing in front of the party shop at Truro in the Burn Savannah area. This is near to where he lived when a grey Toyota Mark X motor car drove up. It is said that a man jumped out of the Mark X with a gun in his hand. He approached Mari and bam 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 bam. Mari, he fell to the ground. The hoodlum, he jumped back into the Mark X and made good his escape in the area. Mari, he received gunshot wounds to his upper body. It is suspected that he died on the spot. The police, they were called and when they processed the crime scene, seven 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem continues. Blessed love everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Popeye News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe and share. Quick silver sin, if we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. Hey, cry with a mash up Jamaica, criminals them a mash up Jamaica, Jamaicans mash up Jamaica. Criminals, they were mash up Jamaica Jamaicans 